I'm Lynn Waihe'e. And of course, I'm John Waihe'e, and I got dragged into this reading session. You'll love it. <laughs> the story we're reading today is called The Hungry Pua'a and, and the, and the Sweet, Sweet Potato. And it is written and illustrated by Leonard v. J. Villanueva. Alrighty, so okay. you're going to read me this story. Yes. One day, a hungry pua'a was searching the forest for something to eat. While he was digging around, he heard something tumbling down the hill beside him. As he looked up to see what was making such a ruckus, a sweet potato hit him square on the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's oh, this sweet potato looks so sweet, thought the pua. He picked up the sweet potato and held it tightly in his hungry mouth. But instead of eating it right then and there, he decided to show off his sweet, sweet potato. When his friends came up to greet him and his sweet potato, the pua lunged at them and grunted, you like sweet potatoes? I know you do. But this sweet potato is for me and not you. This is my sweet potato. Get your own. He lifted his sweet potato high above their bristly heads and went looking for someone else who might enjoy his sweet oh, potato. He's teasing it. And then he came across a crew of croaking... Cokey frogs. Cokey frogs. When the frogs hopped too close to his sweet potato, the poor lunged at them and grunted, You like sweet potatoes? I know you do, but this sweet potato is for me and not you. This is my <laughs> sweet potato. Get your own. He held his sweet potato high above their slippery heads and went looking for someone else who might admire his sweet potato. Soon the pua met a family of nene geese. When the little goslings tried to nibble at his sweet potato, he lunged at them too and grunted, You like sweet potatoes? I know <laughs> you do. But this sweet potato is for me and not you. It is my sweet potato. Get your own. What a selfish bit. The pua pranced past them with the sweet potato high above their feathery heads. See, that's what pigs do. <laughs> oh, when the pua was sure that everyone was envious of him, he decided to eat his sweet potato. <laughs> but as he sat there in the forest all alone, the sweet potato didn't look so sweet. Without his forest friends around, the sweet potato had lost its charm. In the distance, the pua'a could hear the pleasant noise of friends. Hmm, what a ruckus! I can't eat my sweet potato in peace. He picked up his prize and proceeded toward the party. Pushing his nose and ears through the brush, he watched the other forest friends enjoy what little food they had. Their meal of seeds, bugs, and leaves looked good. They didn't have much, but the friends were enjoying themselves just the same. Right away, the pua'a missed the, their company. One of the nene goslin noticed him peeking through the plants. Oh, poor pua'a. <laughs> Honk, sounded the little one. Everyone stopped and stared. <gasps> the pua'a froze from head to tail. He didn't know what to do. He had treated his friends so badly. Come, they all cried. Come and join us. There's always a room. There's always room for a friend. Mm. The pua'a smiled and grunted. We like sweet potatoes. We know we do, and this potato, sweet potato, is for you and me. Ha! Oh, so he learned to share. Oh. Is that what this book is yes. all about? 
Are you, sharing? Are you learning to share as well? Well, I hope the people watching this learn to share because Read to Me International could use some of your funds. <laughs> so, for a small fee, you can get to watch me act like a pua'a. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.